How do you do guys? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users TV. In this class, we're going to see how to render categories of items and in fact categorize them using the bottom navigation bar. Okay, so you click each tab in our bottom navigation tab in our bottom navigation bar and you are able to show you a different set of data in a list view. So we're using a simple list view and of course each tab has different set of data okay or as different we are rendering a different set of data in a list view for example if you come to the planets tab we render the planets you come to the stars tab we render the stars if you come to the galaxies tab we render the galaxies let's get started here we have our app of course in the uh, landscape mode okay so you can see we have a light service view with our beautiful tabs in the landscape mode so this is it this is what we're going to build so let's get started for most we need to create our project so go ahead choose your project name okay this is a java project then come and in the api we're going to go with the api level 14 then empty activity is going to be our template then we have we're going to have this one i'm going to uncheck this one and then click finish to generate our project so first and foremost as you may already know we're using the ah bottom navigation okay so ah bottom navigation is a library that allows us to implement the material design bottom navigation features so all we have to do is to come here and add this implementation statement com.orlhubbard.ah bottom navigation now you may use the later versions once you've done this and then sync your project so as to download it and have it of course in your project to add it in your project okay it's a third party library so we have that one under the build dot gradle up level build dot gradle then very fast we'll come to the colors dot xml now make sure you add these particular colors okay so add the colors these are going to be the colors for our tabs then under the strings dot xml come right here add the planets stars as well as the galaxies add your three tabs you can give them whatever name you like so those are the things we need we're not modifying anything under the styles.xml instead we'll come to our layout activity main.xml at the root we're going to have a relative layout and now as you can see we have this particular text view which is going to be our header label now below it we'll have our list view of course we'll be displaying our data in the list view so we have it below the header label then at the bottom of the screen we're going to have our ah bottom navigation okay so we're going to add it now take note that we are aligning it to the bottom so android layout align parent bottom so we align it to the bottom of the screen so this is going to be our activity main dot xml let's now move over to our java file so we'll start right here from scratch first to specify the package name then we're going to create the class main activity then we're going to add some imports then the class main activity will make it derive from the android dot app dot activity so having done that one we'll just make sure that this class the our activity is registered in the android manifest dot xml the way it is right here given that it is our launch activity so having done that one we'll come and have a h bottom navigation text view list view array adapter as well as a cosmic category which is an integer we'll have them declared as to the instance level okay as instance fields then we'll create this method called get cosmic bodies it will be returning for us an array list of strings so first we instantiate an array list called data we make sure we clear the data then we're going to switch through cosmic categories okay so we switch through cosmic categories now if it is zero then we're going to set if cosmic category equal to zero we'll set the header txt to planets then add the planets in our array list if it is one we'll set it to stars and then add the stars if it is two we'll set it to galaxies then add the galaxies at the end of the day we're returning the array list containing our data now we come create this method called bind data we're going to instantiate our array adapter 
passing in they get cosmic cosmic bodies which will be returning an array list then we set our adapter to a list view my list view dot set adapter adapter now we're going to create this method called create navigation items so first and foremost we're going to come right here instantiate the h bottom navigation pass in the r dot string dot tab one okay now that the text for the tab then the drawable by the way i did not show you guys we need to add some images right here okay so i've added some images i have some images right here so yeah you need to add the images that you're going to be using if you don't have any images then go download this project and use those particular images then we have the color tab one right there then we're going to have our ah bottom navigation item two as well as our ah bottom navigation item three then once we have those ones we we'll come add those items to our bottom navigation using the add item method then we'll set the default background color we we'll pass in this custom color and set it as a default background color we'll set the accent color as well as the inactive color of our bottom navigation so bottom navigation would set false tint equal to true then bottom navigation would set title state now there are three possible title state title states okay a h bottom navigation the title state the show when active okay the title state that always show and dot always hide these are the three possible states now for us you're going to uh, have right here always show then bottom navigation dot set colored equal to true then we'll come and then set the current item programmatically so bottom navigation to set current item equal to zero then we invoke the bind data then we'll come listen to the tab selection change events when a tab is selected in our bottom navigation we'll just switch the cosmic category so cosmic category equal to position we assign it the position okay so that's all we're going to do and then we invoke the bind data right there then the initialize views a method if we're going to create it right here first we initialize the bottom navigation using the find view by id method then we initialize our header txt and then our list view also we initialize basically we are referencing them from our layout spe specification now my list view dot set on item click listener when an item is clicked we're going to show the clicked item in a toast message then we come when our activity is created we're overriding this method right here so first and foremost we set our content view then we'll call initialize views then we'll call create navigation items so that's all we need to do right here let's go ahead run the project so if we run the project here we have our project working perfectly each tab has a different set of list view okay so we have our every tab has its own list view every bottom navigation item is showing us a different list view with different set of data so this is what we've looked at we're going to post the source code of this tutorial in our website camposha.info you guys if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure you do so like the video also and take care i'll catch you in the next class